Hello fam and welcome back to another video. This is our monthly family Costco grocery haul for this month and I can't wait to show you what we got. I was trying to stick to a really strict budget as you know. We also do our monthly meal plan with weekly revisions and we also inventory, check our fridge, pantry and freezer, make sure we're using up everything that we have so nothing goes to waste. And if you do want to stick to a budget, make sure you go into Costco with a list. That's a great way to save money. Get a lot of questions about the coupon book. You do not have to clip coupons, okay? You just go in there and when you check out, it comes off. Always double check your receipt and make sure, but yes, it's automatic. By the way, if you go between coupon books, always double check. They do have some random sales and it's really fun to look for those. Be careful, stay on budget, right? But just, it's fun to look. <laughs> And we're just getting back from Costco and this is our January 2024 Costco haul. I'm gonna share with you a couple of things I got on sale and a couple of things that were unadvertised. So if you haven't seen the Costco coupon book for January, definitely check it out here on the channel. I have it posted and we do that every single month so you guys can get a preview of what's on sale. Also, if things you know go on sale and you know about it, you can actually get a price adjustment within 30 days. Your market may vary. I don't work for Costco, so just keep that in mind. I did get some Starbucks coffee and here's the thing about Starbucks. now. I got this Starbucks with my Fetch Rewards. If you guys aren't using Fetch, it's basically an app where you scan receipts and you earn rewards. And I basically cash out my rewards for gift cards. And as you can see, I don't normally get Starbucks, but I, I normally get Dunkin' Donuts, but I don't really like the reward system lately. I don't know, let me know what you guys prefer, Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks. It's really good. Mm, mm hmm mm. Delish. It's All right, I did get my rotisserie chicken. This is really great for the day that you go shopping. Or you can take all those meat off the bone, make like fajitas. You can also use the bones to make chicken broth, make chicken soup. There's so many great ways that you can use this and it's only $4.99. They haven't raised the price on this and everyone grabs these. Pretty much everyone who goes in Costco grabs it. I'm going to take this out of this package. I don't keep this package because pretty much everyone touched it and it was on the conveyor belt. I'm gonna put it probably in my crock pot and keep it on warm and then we'll be able to eat it off today and then whatever left is left like i said i'll make more meals or like a chicken salad or whatnot i did get my ground beef this i love they did raise the price up to 4.19 a pound but this whole thing is about 25 dollars, and i shared out for about four different meals so all in all it was about uh, right under like I think about six pounds so i'm gonna make it maybe maybe five actually we'll see i'm gonna put them in different packages probably about one and one and a quarter, one and a half. We'll see, but I definitely gonna get a lot of meals out of that. And when I do use it, usually with like the Victoria sauce or my own pasta sauce or meatballs, I will actually have leftovers because I like to make, make the meat stretch. You can also put it with like a bunch of veggies if you'd like and make a stir fry. There's so many different things you can do with that, but I love it. And I've tried to get ground beef at other places where say they're having it sale, like my local markets, like I like to go every week, but for some reason their beef just really tastes good. It's 88, 12. So 88 lean, 12 fat. I don't know, there's something really great about it. The taste, I just really like the taste. And then I got the butter ball. I've been liking to have the butter ball kind of as an alternative. These are not pound packages, these are actually bigger. This is like a pound and a, I think a quarter. So this whole thing was about $21 and this is at least, well, four different meals, but really meals with leftovers. So when I say meal, it means four weeks. So I'll have one turkey a week, one beef a week, that type of thing. And then we'll have usually two to three meals out of that, if that makes sense. Also did get the five dozen eggs. This is $9.99. So the price is pretty good, I'd say, comparable. I know that Here's the thing, the, the eggs were so expensive not so long ago and Costco even then had the best price. So they used to have these grass-fed eggs by Hickman's. I haven't seen them in a while. So this is kind of the best deal that I'm gonna get on eggs. Five dozen, I use them for breakfast, lunches, dinners. So breakfast, obviously omelets, lunch, egg salad, and cob salads. And then for dinner, I do, my, you can make quiches and I like to have breakfast for dinner as well. This was not on sale, but I did grab it. I do like the Victoria and the Rails. I feel like they taste similar. I feel like you get a little bit more for your money with the Victoria. Um, and if you are low carb, there's no extra sugar in here, which I like. I don't like the sauces. I think in January, right, this month they have, is it Classico or one of those brands? I will not buy those because I don't like the ingredients, but really good ingredients on these and really, really delicious. The Zip Fizz is on sale this month. When it is on sale, I do go ahead and grab it. I do like this pretty much every single day in the morning or as a pre, if you use it as a pre-workout. It does have um, vitamins and energy and hydration. So it's kind of an electrolyte. 
slash vitamin drink, energy drink, and I really like it. There's no sugar in there and it just tastes really good. My favorite is the fruit punch. So if it's on sale at Costco, I'll get the triple pack. But if it's not on sale, I'll just go on Amazon and get just, just the fruit punch because otherwise, why am I spending, you know, same price for ones that I don't like? Um, they're okay, grape and peach mango. They're okay, but they're not like my favorites. Okay, a couple of unadvertised specials. These three things were unadvertised. We got the Wisp Pop Cheese, which I never tried. I noticed that they're one carb more than the regular ones. And I don't know if you saw my last Costco haul or if I shared it. I did go ahead and I don't remember if it was in my haul if I went back, but I got these cheese crisps that had extra stuff added to it, like gluten and I don't even know, like flour and rice. And I was like, why are you calling it cheese crisps? So I actually returned them because I'm like, it's really, be careful out there. If you're looking for just cheese crisps, make sure you're reading the ingredients because sometimes other companies are jumping on this trend and they're making these cheese crisps with like extra stuff, extra stuff. Like again, whey, gluten, rice, even corn syrup I saw in some of them. So definitely be on the lookout for that because they're adding things in there, but making it look like it's a cheese crisp. All right. This was an unadvertised special. It was actually, I think, $6.99. I, I love that stuff. And these were on sale too for the family. These, I think, were about $6 as well. It's a really big bag. Again, unadvertised special, so keep that in mind. This was uh, an advertised special as well. It was on sale last month. Check to see if you have it at your Costco. And then this was not on sale, but I absolutely love this. This one is about, is it? It's $8.99 a pound. So this was $9. It's an expensive cheese, but I did get it for the holiday. So, you know, if you do want to get something for the holiday and you want to splurge, you know, it is what it is. But I absolutely love this combination. Some of this stuff I'm actually going to be using for a charcuterie board. As you can see, I have pretty much everything I need. I have pistachios, which I love these too. These are about $14.99 for this huge bag, three pounds, which is really good. And these are snacks for school. These are snacks for home, also for charcuterie. You got salami and you got the cheese, and you got pita chips, and the terrafina pop cheese. You can add, if you want to make a nice charcuterie board, you can also add grapes, uh, dried fruit, raisins. I love to put fresh fruit as well. I have some apples and oranges. Really, there are no rules when it comes to charcuterie boards. You can do whatever you whatever you want. Also, broccoli florets, $8.99 for this, which is still a really good deal because of the quality now these used to be 6.99 you get four one pound bags they are steamable microwavable but here's the thing with this they're better quality than say anywhere else i can get broccoli so if you're if you're not picky you can definitely go to walmart and get one pound bags for a dollar and save about half the price it's just that these are they don't they don't skimp out they don't give you the stems they don't give you the sticks they literally give you just full broccoli florets what do i use this for well i'll steam it I roast it. I use it in soups, stews, casseroles. My kids love it. This is the, bro this broccoli is kind of like, this is just good to have in the freezer. It's also just our frozen food of choice when it comes to vegetables. I feel like you get a lot for your money and also you can use it for so many different things. Sometimes I'll just put it in the microwave and put a little butter, salt and pepper and it tastes delicious. Sometimes I'll add it to a pasta dish or a casserole. Sometimes I'll add it to my soup. Love my broccoli cheddar soup, which is just cream cheese, garlic, onion, broccoli, and then a little bit of chicken stock. You can add some chicken and cheddar at the end and it's a delicious meal, but really big bag. Like I don't know if you can actually tell how big this is, but it's a huge, huge bag. That's everything we got from Costco this month, guys. If you wanna see that Costco coupon book, like I said, definitely check it out on the channel here. Be sure to subscribe if you like Costco videos. Let me know what you're getting this month or if you see any deals that you're gonna to wanna to get or new things you wanna try, let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in the next one. I wanted to share with you a quick Chalk Zero purchase that I just made. So a little Chalk Zero haul for you. I do have a discount code and I, I absolutely love that I can share that with you guys. I've been eating this for about five years. I don't get a discount, but if you guys purchase, you get a discount and I get a little bit of a kickback and I do appreciate that, but you don't have to. I just want to share this because I'm obsessed with Chalk Zero. I did get chocolate milk, milk chocolate orange, 50% cocoa, dark chocolate squares, and then I got two jams and the new Rhea, Rhea, Rhea candy bars. <laughs> I love this stuff. Okay, so the orange chocolate tastes, literally tastes like those little orange chocolate candies I used to have growing up. My dad used to get them for us. And then the, I also love the fact that they have the marmalade. I dipped the dark chocolate in the marmalade. Oh, so good. If you are low carb or keto, the marmalade and the jelly, the strawberry jelly tastes just like 
the regular so you can make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich like you used to and then these Rhea bars oh my gosh they're so good guys oh my gosh by the time you're watching this video these are already gone <laughs> I don't even know if they're in stock. I got them as soon as they dropped them. They taste like Snickers. I'm not even kidding. They're gluten-free, keto, free. they're keto and they're soy-free. They have caramel, peanuts, and nougat. And even my kids say they taste a lot like Snickers because the nougat and the caramel is on point. Plus with those peanuts, so delicious. So if you do want to grab this, go ahead and use the discount code free to family at, at checkout and it'll save you. But again, I use my own money to buy this. Hands down, one of my absolute favorite chocolates and I don't pretty much eat anything else. It's low carb. It's keto, it's sugar-free, and they use monk fruit. So definitely go ahead, use the link below or the code free to family at checkout to save. And don't forget to take advantage of these offers and great ways to earn more money. With Rakuten, you can get an additional $30 bonus when you sign up and spend $30 or more using the referral link in the video description. You can also receive up to 20% cash back every time you shop at your favorite stores. Just use the app or the Chrome extension. Next, we have the Ibotta app where you can get cash back when doing your grocery shopping. You can also receive a $10 bonus when you sign up and upload your first receipt using the referral code on the screen or the referral link in the description box below. And in case you want to maximize your rewards, you can use a second app like Fetch Rewards to upload the same receipt you just used from the Ibotta app. Fetch is super easy to use as it will give you points just for uploading any type of receipt and you will get 2,000 points equal to $2 in rewards just for signing up with this referral code on the screen. Seriously, don't miss out on any of these offers and amazing ways to make extra money. You can also earn more money by referring your own friends and family. So get started today.